Alright guys, welcome back. We are now on part 4 of Super Metroid Escape 2. So, when we last left off, we picked up some not insignificant items, including Plasma Beam and a Wave Beam that shoots super missiles. So, now we are going to go and fight uh, Kraid and get Gravity Suit. do that, first we need to warp back to Brinstar, or rather, the Nature Caves. And basically we just head on over to where we... or where, uh... We basically just head on over to where X-Ray was located, but we go to the right instead of to the left. Like I said, the game treats it like a super missile, so it opens green doors. Those are spikes. So are those. Charges convenient. And that's the warp zone. And here comes Kraid. So, let's go ahead and get gravity! It's not here. But there's some speed booster blocks, so... 
Let's go ahead and charge up the Shine Spark. Eventually. And up we go. Now we have a sh nice shiny white suit. So now that we have the now that we have gravity, we can go ahead and take on the water maze. But before I do that, let's go ahead and grab that one item that is above the landing site. You know, the one that was trapped over here. It's actually power bombs. Now, one other thing you might remember is over here, there was that one block that was stopping us. Well, a normal bomb will take you right over here. And will actually allow you to get power bombs early, which is necessary to do the no boss run. We'll be using that trick on the second playthrough when we do the no boss run. Right, so, I'm not going that way just yet. Now, one thing you can do while speed or shine sparking is you can still lay power bombs. Which is actually going to, which is actually required on one of the shine spark puzzles that you have to go through multiple rooms, basically laying a power bomb to open the door. I have no idea what what it, that is actually supposed to mean. Now, gates do not treat Super Missile Beam as Super Missiles. And also, no, you can't go back up the shaft to get back to the warp zone. You have to actually find an actual entrance to the warp zone. Alright, so let's go ahead over to the water cage and take on Meridia. So we can go and kill Dragon with our beam that shoots super missiles.
Now the other thing is, the Super Missile Beam does not knock gamers off of the platforms. You need to fire an actual Super Missile for that. as we go. Alright, so now we need to find Dragon and Botkin. A number of sandfalls will simply send you back to the beginning of the sandfall rather than drag you down into another room or drop you on spikes. Also, if you ever pick up the Super Missile Beam, don't ever turn it off because it, the game acts really weird if you do. Here, I'll, I'll demonstrate. Yes. That's what happens when you turn off the Wave Beam. basically set a damage charge. It also, as you can see, really screws up the tiling. Not that I really need them anymore, but it's a thought that counts. So can I break this pipe? Nope. Sure. Now, is there anything behind you? Nope. Okay. Now, you'll be seeing why the water maze gets its name pretty quick. Uh, one thing that hackers seem to love to do is to turn Meridia into a gigantic, unnavigable maze. For some reason. I don't know why. Oh, my God. 
but this place is full of twists and turns and rooms that are entirely too big for their own good. bunch of stuff in this area. No idea where half of it is. Right, where was the boom tube? Okay. Alright, 
There's a pipe I can go through earlier. Actually, let's see if it'll let me break it. And... Nope. Hmm. Oh, whatever. It's down here. Hmm, this is like the sandpit rooms in Old Meridia. This is going to be pleasant. Yay, midair morph. Let us do that. We'll have to come back there once we get the ability to space jump. Oh. 
time to go back to Dragon Hunting. Supposed to grapple across, but we're not doing it. Still won't let me break the game. Ah. Well, that's a lot. Oh, well, that's the door being break. That's why it's that much. And now we are in an interesting new area with a save point and a recharge station that we don't need. Get a speed boost from this area. Sources are pointing to no. So it looks like this might be a multi room speed boost. Oh, what's through here? Hmm. Alright, well, that is a one way then. We can always come back for that later. Suckers. Hmm. 
close to drag on soon. Perfectly easy thanks to Super Missile. I don't even need to plasma. Um, I don't even need to use the plasma uh, X ray. Yes, you like damage, Dragon. Alright, so for killing Dragon, we get Spring Ball. Actually, Spring Ball is really good. It's useful because jumping, also because you can dash while, uh, while in ball form now. And charge up, and you can, you can't charge a Shy Spark, but you can um, build up to Speed Boost while in ball form. Uh, it actually makes getting the Super Wave Beam a lot easier. It also makes getting Plasma Beam a lot easier. But where's the fun in that? Alright, so let's see where are we. Okay, let's go ahead and head back to Warp Zone. Take a quick break. When I come back, we will go ahead and get through the rest of the Spospo ruins and start making our way towards the end game. So, see you guys in a little bit.